all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> I love that. Welcome on to Five Star Sodas. This is your soda review show. Hey, we're going to be here regularly for a soda review show telling you about all the best fizzy drinks across the world. My name's Andy, this is Al, and this is my right hand man Nick. How are you so, doing? What's going on? Yeah, good man. How are you? No I'm, bad. I'm good man, I'm good. I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm excited. Thirsty. I'm thirsty ah. over here. Thirsty to get started. Hey, as I say, we're normally going to have a guest on with us and each of us will bring a drink, so there'll be four drinks to review every show. But... As it's the first show, we're going to bring two each, and it's a big bumper episode. Uh, but there's some rules to follow. First rule, it's got to be served chilled. Second rule, if it's not carbonated, doesn't count. Third rule, it's got to be drank out of the receptacle that it is bought in. Whether it's a bottle, a glass, a cup, whatever, doesn't matter, you've got to drink out of that. Uh, and then we score them out of five, and if they get a good score, they could make it on to the five-star soldiers leaderboard. The prestigious ah, the, five-star soda this, leaderboard. It's currently empty, it's empty now, but I'm looking forward to filling it up. It's anyone's game at this point. Uh, so hi, how you doing? We ready? Yeah, I'm. Like I said, I'm really thirsty, so I wouldn't mind getting that first one out and making. Yeah, I'm happy to quench this there. thirst. We're just going to go straight in then. We're going to go straight in. So the first drink is uh, mine. I'm bringing the first drink to the. What have you got for us, Andy? What uh, is this? Ah, oh, classic. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a soda show without Absolute kicking us off with a classic. cola. Kicking us off with a cola. Cola. Uh, are we Phantom's cola? Fentimans I mean, cola. that's, that's, a, that's classic a classic bottle, really. Bottle, really. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it really has went really for that old school look, school almost kind of beer like label yep. um, yep. in the glass bottle. I mean, the glass bottle, let's face let's it, face it always, always makes things taste a wee bit better. The, um, the thing about Fenomens is, is like, this is adult cola. This is the first time that you were in a shop and, and you were buying your shopping for yourself and went, oh, wait a minute, I don't need to get I don't need a Coke or Pepsi. Coke. There's, There's another option. Right, th- this is this is to me is entry level craft cola. I mean, I can't even remember the first time I had a Fentimans. I feel but like it like, may have been a. I feel like it may have been with a pub lunch. Do you yeah, know? I feel like yeah, it's yeah, in some yeah, uh, some yeah. gastro pubs, and you just see, you know, a wee you sneaky see one at the bottom of the menu. And some, is it one of those ones where for those curious w- souls? And the waiter's like, he's going through the list and he's like, "What do you want to drink?" And you're like, "Eh, is it anything?" And a bit more fun than and Coke saucy. or Pepsi. Or, or maybe or? you're just in a fancy restaurant and you say I'll have a Coke and you say it's actually only Fentimans we do, it's not Jeez. Coke or Pepsi. What I mean, restaurant's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we right. don't stock the Coca-Cola company, only Fentimans. Are we going to get into this? I'm not, I mean, it's a great way to set it off. <clears throat> the, yeah. the only thing I'd say is I, I don't like kicking us off without the can. It, oh, okay. You don't quite I mean, get the same... you chose this. I know, but you don't quite get the same pop with us as you do with a can. Yeah, I can't get my First one of... Many, I guess, boys. Uh, I wish cheers to uh, Cheers, cheers, yeah, cheers. 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 Salud, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Cool. No rules on the swig. Just whatever swig you feel comfortable with. It is a curious taste, isn't it? For a curious Coke. It's not Coca-Cola, I tell you that. I mean, definitely not. I love, I love a Coke. Coke is, is my that's my go-to. That's 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 what I'll have. Um, and I'll, I'll always like a, a fancy cola. It's a one and done though. It's like you can't be pounding these. I mean, you can't really pound Coca Cola to be fair. But a Fentimans is like, I will tell you what. See if this isn't chilled. A warm Fentimans is oh, maybe no, one no. of the most barking drinks out there. Um, it's quite cola cube esque. It, de- it definitely's got a retro feel to it. There's not. It's not like a really fancy cola. It's like oh, there's lots of subtle flavours in that. It's just it's old school to me. It definitely is old school. I do like it, but it's it's definitely not a go-to for me, to be honest. It's not unpleasant. I think it was. I think at one point I would have rated it, but I've definitely been exploring the soda game heavy, and you know it's there. But yeah, it's not without its charm. Yeah, I mean, once once my eyes are open to other colas, then this is a good fa- gateway. Aye, it's, it's, a, it's gateway a gateway drug. Cola. A gateway drug. Um, <clears throat> right. as a review show, so maybe I'll kick us off with a review here in terms of scoring, but. <clears throat> So I'm at a five, and I think I'm going to put this as a solid two point seven. Oof, not bad, not bad. I mean, and, and that that maybe sounds low. That maybe does sound low. It but does, I... but here's my thoughts on a five star rating, and it's something we spoke about when we had the idea of maybe doing a podcast. And it was um, a three is like like a guarantee, and it's something that I would recommend to someone and say, look, hmm. you need to go out and try this. This is. I don't think there's. This is a drink that I would 
phone one of you two and go, you need to try for yeah, it. Yeah, Cola. It is a good Coke. Um, it is nice. It's just not like, it's not in the upper echelons of Cola for me. No, um, three, three and up is, is... Three is like, get out, get out of your house and go and buy this. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. there's levels to that whole game. Exactly. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, so, um, I'll slide in. I'm going to go 2.2. 2. Like, 2. it's 2. just, it's not unpleasant, but Nick's obviously explained a wee bit how we're waiting the scores. You know, yeah, it's nice enough, but it's not something I wouldn't run to buy uh, it. Did I say 2.7? You said 2.7. I yeah, said 2.2. Yeah. I'm going a wee bit higher. I'm going 2.9. 2.9 for me and I, I'm a, as I say I'm a cola guy so I do mm. like a cola and that, that's that's what I'm I'm always going to go with. I'm just going to go fix the next bottle here so that it does the old label out oh, thank you rookie man rookie first show we so, can let them off uh, so but after that there will be severe consequences average score 2.6 2.6 for Fenton's cola 2.6 first score out the doors 2.6 above average that's I'm quite happy with that to be honest the two, like a 2.6 like a, a, you're, you're only you happy because it was easy out. maths no, I've got my calculator here anyway. If, if you're listening on the podcast, but the, I think um, it, it sits about. I mean, it's close to my score anyway, two point six, and I think it's about right for a good cola. Right. I mean, what made you bring this? Is the first one? Well, I just uh, Coke, Coke is a, a baseline. Somebody says a, a fizzy drink is Coke, but I wasn't going to bring Coca Cola because I think that that in itself has so many different. Levels. I just didn't That's want to go. That's a whole other show. Aye, that 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 could be a show in itself about Coca Cola or Pepsi or even even just between the containers that they come in. Um, no, like you said, it's a, it's an interesting baby step into craft soft drinks. It's pretty accessible. You can get it all over the place. Much if like you, much you, like you, this episode. Exactly. Ah, should we talk quickly about the platforms? Oh, I mean, you can get us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. The podcast will be on iTunes, Spotify. Just find us all at Five Star Sodas on everything. Five Star Sodas. Five Star Sodas. Is that Five Star Sodas? Five Star Sodas. <laughs> <laughs> That's still confusing. That's still confusing. Yeah. Uh, no. So I mean, quite an honour for Fenimans to have the first ever review yeah, yeah, yeah. on the show. And yeah, like I said, you know, if you've never had this, grab a bottle and try it. It is definitely it's it's worth it's worth knowing if it's for you because yep. it's it is readily available and. A nice alternative to your bog standard lineup of soft drinks in a bar or restaurant. Right, so I think we're going to go straight in our second review, and I think Nick, you'll you'll drink something next, am I right? Yeah. So I wanted to bring something a wee bit weird for the first one, just to like. So we just all bring something that represents our personalities. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I wanted to bring uh, something that's that I'd never tried before, and uh, I found this online, and uh, I believe. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. It's a, it's a, it's a cream, cream drink. drink. Okay. okay. I've never it's tried it. It's called watermelon, watermelon soda. soda. Yeah, I mean, it's... And, uh, what kind of flavour is it? Well, the, <laughs> the can, I mean, the, I mean, the can's, can's got, got such a cool watermelon, watermelon vibe to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving the can. Uh, like red and green. I just feel like the marketing team just knocked that out quickly. What should we call it? I mean, the interesting thing, obviously, when you get cans from foreign lands, is you can't really read any ingredients on it. Yeah, I mean... You just really need to try, uh, trust that it's it's going to be what it is. But like, um, I'm you not can't really sure see a watermelon expect. can and not hope that it's going to be delicious. But I mean, do you use like watermelon? I do. I'm yeah. I'm not really a big fan. It's my favourite kind of melon. So, but there is a difference between like a Jolly Rancher watermelon and a real. Yeah, and is, is this going to be synthetic watermelon? <laughs> I, mean, well, I don't know and what you to don't expect. Need, you, don't, you don't need to be a nutritionist to know that. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what to expect from it, but I think we should crack in and see what's yeah, happening. Yeah, let's I mean, this could be the first one out of the can. Yeah, the first one. Oh, should we get a wee let Andy get a little... Oh, hold on. Oh. That's nice. Let's definitely get a synthetic S- smell to it. Yes, Cheers, boys. Away, it's, uh, it smells like Jolly Ranchers. Salud. Thank you. Oh, aye. Woof. I don't mind it actually. <laughs> it uh, definitely doesn't no. taste like a watermelon. This is interesting because. Taste what you think a watermelon smells like. No. <laughs> it tastes like what you think a watermelon no. smells like. No, it tastes like watermelon soap. What I oh. imagine watermelon soap would taste like, that's barking. The aftertaste on it is rich. Right, so you're shooting just straight out. I, I wouldn't say it's barking. No, I wouldn't barking. say it tastes like a... Mm. Do you know what's strange about it? 
it's not a particularly fruity drink. I know watermelon isn't an overly fruity fruit, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But there's almost like a very, very sugary aftertaste that just It's forty five percent down on its sugar content from its predecessor though. So So if anyone out there <laughs> actually has, says if actually says it. on the can for anyone that are looking at home um, the most it says three percent the most ideal taste ever. Three percent what? The most <laughs> ideal taste. Three ever. plus three percent is the most ideal taste. Ever. It also just says watermelon soda. Like I don't know who came up. The SFC unleashed the watermelon. This is such a weird drink. Um This the can see not the can looks like it was designed by a four year old and not in some. But the thing is I movie. love I know I love the can. I think the can looks great. But you kick us off, tell us what you think. What's what are you going at five? I don't hate it. Uh it's not particularly fruity, like I say, it's got this weird sugary aftertaste, almost like more like a cream soda or something like that. It's not unpleasant. I wouldn't say it does what it says in the tin very well. <laughs> but Mainly because what it says in the tins in Japanese. It's in Korean, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry. Get it right. Sorry. Uh, I'll shoot. Shoot for the hip. Do you know what? Let me, let me get one more real quick. Get one more time. I'm going to take one more swig and I'm going to shoot for my score already. This is him biting the crust. 2.3. Okay. Yeah, I'm going 1.2. Interesting, though. 1.2. 1. 1. 2. 2. And 2. the only 3. reason the only reason that I would even talk about it again is for people to be like taste that that's that's weird there's there's just nothing about it that's nice to me it's not even it's not even quenching my thirst for me it's not in the ones because it's not disgusting it's not something i wouldn't i won from somewhere in the one region is me someone picks that can up and i go whoa don't you don't want that anywhere in the one region no i'd say i'm below ones before i get to that stage I don't even think we could go below one, but fair enough. Um, for me, it's like a 2.1. 2.1. I feel okay. that. So I, I feel... say I was 2.2. You're 2. Th- you're oh, 1. I was 2.2. No, no I'm I'm sorry. 1. 2. He was 2.3. I'm 2.1. Crunch those um, numbers real 1. quick. 1.2. I'm crunching numbers. It's not looking like a hit though, lads. So no, no, no. It really is not. not. I mean, that's going to struggle even straight off the bat. Make Interesting the, though. Make the leaderboard. What I, what I really want to achieve... 1.86, round 1. it up. 1.9. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, I can't argue with that. I mean, that I was a score I kind of thought I was wanted to give it, but then I made that big spiel of it, and if it's in the ones, is a no-go. But I, mean, I can't argue with that. Throughout the making of this show, I just want to be this guy that when anyone brings up any, almost any soft drink <laughs> on the planet, like, I, I can say I've tried it. <laughs> like, I just, Completed and, uh, it, mate. Yeah, and just direct them to this and be yeah. like, you know... You don't even need to try it because I tried it for you and I scored it and you're wasting your time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I am the voice on sodas. Like, yeah. there's, uh, there's nobody else to ask. No, I'm glad. I mean, it's not. It's interesting, but yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad I've tasted it. Glad it's, it's off the list and it, it's good. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Right, crack straight on. We round out and that'll be. Uh, I'll get mine done and then we can. Uh, yeah, I think we should get the next one because that's been two absolute. Me that. You know which one? What you got for this? I'm bringing out the seven up, the seven up mojito. It's the chunky slim line. Chunky slim line, yep. Yeah. The chunky uh, slim can. can. It's the skinny fat can. Skinny fat Let's can. see. Let's um, see. Um, the three hundred thirty um, mil. I I know about seven up mojito. I know about seven up mojito. You know nothing about seven up mojito. No, my wife loved seven up mojito. We used to have to import this from France because she had it once on holiday and loved it. So, Actually, it says Saveur on the front. Is this a French drink? I think that's where you said you had to get it from. I had to get it from, uh, yeah. It's you got a, it from France. It has a French website as well. Yeah, it's it? one of these strange things what where... French no but just, just, Ah, yeah, who knows. I, mean, f- I think there'll be a lot of that to be discovered in this uh, episode <laughs> of the game of, like, uh, which flavours are exported to which countries. Nah, but but this this is non-alcoholic 7-Up Mojito. It's non-alcoholic. No, so you are looking for a Mojito flavour. Hold on. Oh, off the bat. Synthetic mint. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I love a mojito. I'm a, I'm I was a gonna, mojito that was, connoisseur. That was a talking point I was going to say. I think we are all partial. I'll be honest, that's better than I remember that. Oh. That's better than I remember oh. that. So let me, let me set a scene. Please do. You're lying in your hammock. And the, the sea's just... In the hammock district? The sea's just in the background there, the beach. And you set one of these without the alcohol. You wouldn't even know. Like a good mojito, you're not. 
well, see, but it's a good Mahilo you want to taste a bit of the booze, but yeah, no, I mean, um, I think you put. But I'm talking about like a general Mahilo you get from a kind of general shite bar, like. Yeah, I'm in here. This your is... scene just fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> that hammock in my head. I was chilling in some five star resort. <laughs> See, I think I think a, a lazy me here at home. Serve that over ice with some rum in it. It actually might be okay if you've got no other. Do you know option. what? Do you know what it's doing, right? Hood cocktail balance. Mm-hmm. Mm. The, the mint's not overpowering. You know, it's it's. I could keep drinking this. I could keep drinking this. This is this is very decent. Yeah. And to be honest, you're right. You could just. You could just skull some rum in it, yeah, and you're good to go. And and I was opening that, not expecting to enjoy it because I rem- I remember Jenny getting it a lot. Jenny being my wife, Jenny getting it a lot, and mm. I just didn't like it. I would never drink it. And if there's fizzy juice in my house, I will drink it, but I would never drink that. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, Andy. That's one of mine. That was my wee meatloaf number there. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it for fizzy Save juice, for but I won't drink that. Episode. I think that's a uh, it's a hair. Seven up. What's it called? Seven up. Seven up mojito. What's the Savour part? I don't know. I didn't do French. I did German at school. Maybe someone could drop that down in the comments. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, let us know what Savour means. Let us know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I do. I like it. I was not. I really wasn't expecting. Is like it possible that, that Savour means that it's uh, flavour? No, that it's oh possibly or uh, that it's not get any booze in it. <laughs> no, it's because it says the uh, oh, bos, bosson alcoholis. Of course, of course. Clearly, I did German at school. <laughs> Uh, give us a review, Andy. As you're I mean, I, I'm like it. I really wasn't expecting to like it. I don't remember it being so subtle. Actually, I actually remember it it's being. It's a mellow drink. No, I'm. I'm going to go high. I'm going to go three point five. Three point five. Three point five. Three point five. Sometimes these Andy. soft drinks are based on something. Or- Try to you know they really go, but it's, yeah. it's... I mean I'm I'm really surprised. That's that's my high school today, Fair and I, I love a cola, so I'm 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 surprised. Ow. Um, you yeah, brought I, it. I, I Did like you know what you were getting here? Never tried it. Just uh, just thought it looked interesting, and I knew it wasn't a flavour that's readily available here. Um, now I'm gonna go high too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three three point eight. Three point eight. Yeah, that's high. Woo. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be I'll be stocking up a few of these. No, it is, it is good, and it's. I don't. It maybe helps the fact that, as we said at the start, I, I'm. I was thirsty. I needed a drink, and that is this refreshing. It is it's good? I think. Uh, I think. This is something I want to pick up again, for my shocking, um, imaginary scene. <laughs> I think Andy's right though. You put a bit of rum in this, you're jamming. You are yeah. jamming. Yeah. I've had worse mojitos. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like a nightclub mojito. Shocking. Like these nightclubs should take take a, a leaf out of folks' books if they're going to do it. <laughs> and just you, just uh, buy a case of that. Club and that's your move. That. Yeah, put a, a fishbowl. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> couple of cans of that. Bo- full shots of rum, of rum, full of ice. Stack the thing with the cans. Yeah, man, you're done, man. Ah, that's a bottle package. Three point four from me. Oh, three point four. I mean, that's still a high, still high scoring. That's, that's a high score, man. That's a hair. So what, what we got? I think that's that three point seven five. Is that a guess? Is it right? Is his math right? 3.56. Round off. 3.6. 3.6. 3.6. Not bad. Nice. Not bad going. Varied. Very, very selection. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and, it's a quick start. It's good though. I like that. Yeah, I, um, I enjoyed them. And I, well, I'd say I enjoyed them. I enjoyed my Coke and I enjoyed the, the 7 Up. But that that's normally what we do on one episode where we would, where we would bring one yeah. each. The guest would then bring one. We'd scroll them all and see how that goes. But as I say, we're going to do two each. But. Uh, let's let's maybe talk. So, I when we were talking about doing this, yeah. I texted you Nick and I said, "Did we talk about doing a soda review show?" And you text me back and you're like, "What are you talking about? We did talk about once having a bar." Oh no, you said a show. I wanted a soda show. Well, I remember in Stockholm one time, just what pound in the streets, uh, and came across this little boutique store, kind of like. Kind of like a Haddles or something. The old school Haddles. <laughs> old school man. Is Haddles even still there? Haddles I don't, don't, think, no, so. Haddles I don't think so. But an old school boutique Haddles. With it. Do you know the kind of... Actually, there's a place, I think, on... We should Irish explain for something. maybe people who aren't in yeah. Scotland. Haddles was like an off-license, like a chain of off-licenses. Oh, I'm liquor, thinking... A low market. Like a low market. Like a low market store, yeah. I'm thinking Oddbins. the kind of the um, <laughs> alcoholic store that would have like a cage up. Kind ah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I walk oh, this this, this so in like. this little place, got a big cage up. You can see kind of through the back. A scheme like a store warehouse. 
But the whole thing, top to bottom, uh, ceiling to floor is sodas. Really? And it was not even any alcohol, like, at all. Is that a case of, like, you, you didn't really know where to start? I was just walking past uh, the street and just walking in the street past the shop and I just seen it and I was like, holy shit, they've got, ev- they've got everything. They might have Fenomans. Actually, <laughs> they might have Fenomans. That was my first thought. Do you, do you have Pepsi? Um, <laughs> yeah. I actually had my... I generally, I'm not really one of these tourists that have a backpack on me, like, during the day, but for that, for yeah, that on day, a night. I did. No, these rolling suitcases just rolling, rolling it through the streets. No, but I, I, I must have carried probably about 12 cans and about <clears throat> 8 bottles of, of juice just about the streets. Do you know what I mean? It was just, so, I always, when I came back from Stockholm on that trip, I remember saying to Alan and Andy, like, wouldn't it be amazing if Glasgow had, like, a dead Yeah, patient? definitely. Yeah. Fizzy juice shop because I, I always remember like we would go on tour and I always there's a few of us that just didn't drink that much and I always thought it'd be cool to have a bar that had just mm-hmm. as good a soda selection, selection yeah. as it did as its beer and whiskies and all of that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff and that was kind of my idea but then you had kind of different view on I thought about making something like, like making soda making soda and I've dabbled a little bit in some simple recipes but yeah I just thought the idea of made? like cream soda oh. I made you it Sweet, <laughs> That's how good it was. <laughs> and unforgettable. And how did we score that? It was coming soon. It's it's coming actually, do you know what? I do remember that because you were kind of like, have you got any... This and that. <laughs> ah, well, Are you keeping ingredients close to your heart? There we go. Oh, There's well, a, that's a little sidebar on a show. Yeah. A homemade special show. We, we all need to bring our own homemade. Yeah, yeah, I like that. The, uh, but when we when? decided we were maybe going to do a podcast, it was kind of funny because all the sort of things we were talking about... Because well, at first I was like, who the fuck is going to listen to a podcast about juice? But then me just saying that, and he's like, well, there you go. I said soda, and you've said juice. Yeah. And, like, I mean, what's your... Can you even remember your entry point to, like, what uh, What was the first... Can you have you get your, any early memories of drinking fizzy juice for the first time? Just, just basics. Just glass bottles. Well, you know, glass checks. Take the bottle back, and you can get, you know... So I, remember it being, or I remember it being 5p. So, I mean, I'm... 5p. A, 5p, not 5p, 20p, definitely. Yeah. Definitely 20p. Because you don't get in for it anymore, though. You don't get in for a glass bottle anymore if you I take mean, it back. No, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to save the earth. I I supposed supposed to save the, the main thing. <laughs> Pay uh, me my money! But don't, I mean, it's kind of strange that the, the, there almost was, there was a real, like, hunt for the bottles, getting them back to the shop for the money. I mean, with, with at that point with the shops just throwing them in landfill, what yeah, was the, yeah, what, where, what was the issue? Going, yeah. um, no, that was it, just the... Uh, that kind of thing I mean was it big in your house like did your mum and dad yeah like uh, my mum was a fiend for like Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi which is probably you know I don't know she'd uh, she would stockpile it from the supermarkets when it went on like a Stop you know like a deal uh-huh. so yeah the the loft in my house looked like we were planning for the apocalypse <laughs> as long as all we would need to sustain was like toilet roll soap powder and Diet Coke well, I mean that's just was right well, I, told you, I told you the story once that uh, my mum would wake up in the morning she would pour Diet Coke in a glass and drop a Cocoa de Maldesolvo in it <laughs> and I was just like and that's probably what was giving her the head the <laughs> ultimate in sort of like pain management if you know what I mean I was kind of like that's you know and obviously uh, Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi and Diet Soft Drinks in general are much more highly carbonated yeah. if you want to take it to a whole other place <laughs> <laughs> drop a Drug dissolvable all. Cocoa de Maldesolvo in it and you're good to go but yeah, mate, I mean, I definitely, I definitely didn't live in a house where it was uh, forbidden. See, I didn't, I didn't live in a house where it was forbidden, but I don't really remember mm. having loads of fizzy drinks when I was growing mm. up. I always remember having like Robinsons and diluting juice and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that's why I'm now so in it. I've always had a sweet tooth. I've always loved mm-hmm. sugary sweets and snacks, but I never really remember having fizzy drinks. I remember having the Alpine van, which was. What? It was the it was a transit van that drove about like an ice cream van, but it was a transit van. It wasn't <laughs> hi, transit van. Ice cream van with the window in the yeah. side. Yeah. And that he just he came round and he sold. You you could buy like a like see those plastic beer crates yeah. of glass bottles of ginger. And that's it sort of like their own brand. Call it yeah, ginger. yeah. Well, no, but that's if it's in a glass bottle and comes in a plastic case, that's ginger. That is that's one hundred percent ginger. And yeah, it was Alpine branded, and I don't know if Alpine are still around. I don't I know don't if they know, still man. do it. Yeah, but yeah, it was one. like that was where you got it. your like classic cherry, lime, pineapple, and all that. Crazy and then they flavors. would come back for the empties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Aye. So it was like the milkman. Aye, but, Aye, but it was for ginger. But you would uh, 
fodder it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He would just drive around and then he would stop, like the ice cream van would. Right. You could place orders, but, but I think some stop, people would get the same, out. the same sort of thing every week, and the guy would just re up the yeah. crates. Well, there's, yeah. there's weirdly when I was investigating what I was going to bring, I was looking for an old school drink, and there is a service still in Ayrshire, and he delivers to my town on a Friday. But you can't just order once. You need oh, to right. order this weekly or fortnightly, and you've got to order a minimum of twelve bottles. What does he deliver? Twelve bottles of. Diabetes. Ginger? What is <laughs> yeah. going on? It's like that's an, I mean, it's crazy. It's not even like it's not a case of cans. You're talking. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, every week. Yeah. That's weird that you call it ginger though, because like that just brings memories of like my gran, and uh, she would send me out <laughs> to the van for a packet of twenty fags and a couple of bottles of ginger, and I would be like five. <laughs> <laughs> and Trento, the guy, shout out Trento and Renfrew. Because he's still alive. <clears throat> he probably is, actually. Still, still driving uh, the van. In the Arkelston <laughs> area, but the Trento would, you'd hear the van, well, you you never seen the van coming at my grand's. You would always hear it, but there was three vans in my life at that time. Oh, ice cream lords. Just getting increasingly louder <laughs> chimes. My mum told me when the chimes play, that means he's sold I out. Sold it. Yeah, we tell the kids that. <laughs> no, but like the three vans done at my grand's bit was the... There was the ice cream definitely van. a made-up story. <laughs> That's what done at my grand's bit. <laughs> there was the ice cream van. There was like a green grocer van, which was like this weird, weird red van that would And so you and these two twins that used to date would go down there. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a ragman, and he'd have this mad trumpet that we'd play. Yeah, I remember the ragman. But the uh, you would get sent out to get... And my two... This is probably the earliest memories of drinking like... I always call it juice, which is funny because our friend Jordan from Canada always pulls me up on it and he's like saying that that's oh, not juice, juice. it's yeah, soda yeah, yeah. And but he would call it that pop I'm sure he called it pop maybe we beat that out of him maybe, guy, maybe we beat but that out he would always say it's not juice but it's funny because that's all I've ever known it as is juice like yeah. if someone says do you want a juice I never think of like orange juice or apple juice and that sounds like I've been raised like but wait, don't sure look, but then in England they say pop and then in Ireland is, is they not call everything lemonade or something something uh there's just know, weird things that are just yeah. carried through and then obviously it's re- seems, it appears to be regional I definitely there was regional no rag man down my street playing no trumpet <laughs> but the uh, but, but I was what I was going to say was I knew that if if I asked for red cola or limeade that automatically meant I could get ice cream and make a float because that was uh, like the like go to float in our in my grand's house I don't mess with the floats no I'm not a big fan I'm of floats I'm not a big fan of the floats but nah. the uh I just, but the, the weird thing, like, obviously, like, working class family in Renfrew, and there was probably, like, at one time, I don't know, maybe my grand, my grandpa, my auntie, her boyfriend, me, my cousin, my mum, and her, one of her sisters, in the one all house. living in one room. All, all in the house at one time. So, so was like, that a real relief when you won the ticket to the chocolate factory? <laughs> you thought, here we go. But what I was going to say was like... So we were when, wondering who was getting that 12, 12 bottles of the, <laughs> glass juice a week and there you go. But when the van came, it was like... Did the van take ages to get out? It was way down. Day out. Yeah, yeah. I it up for eight people in. <laughs> so you would be like... And he's still selling me the fags, which is nuts to be honest. <laughs> so I think we've established that on some level, even from a young age, we've been nuts about juice, even yeah, though we didn't definitely. think we were. I mean, def- when I was younger, it was ginger to me, but now I've definitely, that's changed, and I think just maybe from travelling, I've always just now, I would just say a drink, but well, even I, that's confusing. Do you feel, uh, this is just a quick one that came to me, obviously, getting into some of the more uh, niche sodas, from doing a bit of travelling, but also travelling where, you, you it's not like you can travel and drink, like travelling where there's some sort of responsibility of either driving or having to do something yeah, but yeah, as yeah. you arrive it's you know you start to think like am i just going to pick up coke every time i stop or am i going to just see if i can find something and i think that's kind of like a factor is kind of like what you're saying with the bar just having like a bit more selection and not just yeah. being like well, i remember once we drove from texas to new york in the space of three days and we basically eat, ate at service stations and drank coke probably just probably coke because yeah. that was all you had and we got to new york and I felt terrible and then the next day we were in Toronto and I woke up with kidney stones and they say probably just because you, you, you ate so badly and drank so much Jeez, fizzy juice so. but the uh, it definitely like we've obviously probably all grown up similar to like where the only drinks we really drank would have been like Cokes and Iron Brews and that kind of thing but like I think the travelling element of things like that's when you start that's when you like you're in a service station and you see like 
a different color can and you're like oh what was that kind of thing and it piques your interest and you go yeah. i mean now we've like we've got three drinks in front of us and like it's nothing i would have drank as a kid no yeah, yeah. not even close but drink. see you said you would always go for a coke and a lion brew or something like that but i would always actually have went to the really synthetic terrible flavors like limeade pineapple raspberry aid anything cherry bars like, ever made yeah, yeah, yeah but it was always the terrible flavors that i would go for but i don't know if that was just because it was like poor. ah yeah that's Not probably what it was. <laughs> right anyway i think we should just crack on, with, on. With, so, with the next one so we're back to me we're back to what me. have you got and well al did mention ireland a second ago oh and come on we are here he's pulling out the heels look at this with, little bit of ice here with what i would call ireland's national drink um, in my Before opinion, Guinness? Um, uh, well, to me, this 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 is uh, well, this is the this, number one for me. This, this, um, this is the number one for Club me. Orange. Club uh, Orange, man. Club Orange. you get experience with that? Oh, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I love, love, love Club Orange. Orange. It's yeah. like, and I, again, I don't I, want again, to do the old, do the old um, comparisons, but um, this to me is this this is Orangina. This this is Orangina, but but probably better. The can looks very similar to an Iron Brew in terms of the orange, doesn't it? Yeah, but I think with the green, the green writing on it makes it. It makes it seem natural to me, and it does say it's got real bits in it. Whether that's real bits of that orange, that's a good orange in a rip off, though, isn't it? But I mean, w- I wonder what's what's older. But let's, let's I like yeah. it. It says "Love Irish Food" on. It's got a little uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. disclaimer thing. Yeah, I'm going in. Yep. Hey, cheers. cheers. What's the, what do the Irish people say when they, they they're not slang? They, prob- they probably slang. don't pour it down themselves. That's good. Whoa, that is good. That's strong. So orangey. That's like, incredible, but not but not, not in an a, orangina type of way where it's like, no, that's not synthetic to me. That's 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 proper. I mean, I, this is not my first club orange. I'll be I'll be upfront about that. I think um, it's mine, despite having toured Ireland relentlessly. Uh, no, I don't think I've had I'll, this. I love it. But I, I mean, it's a, I mean it's not doing anything exotic for me, but it's staple and it's yeah. I mean, it's like. Again, probably the same with the Fentiman's Cola. That's not an entry level cola. You go my Coke or a Pepsi there. A club with orange, I'd probably go with a Fanta or a Tango. This this is the next step but, up from and Ireland. If you have been in Ireland, Ireland, Ireland oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm this not is a, your Iron Brew if you're from like, yeah. Dublin or something. Well, I don't know. There's a couple because I've, I've got one in the stash getting ready for that one. Well, what I was going to say about this that's interesting is like, actually, the orange on it, the font actually looks very similar to Tango. Hmm. Who makes Tango? Is that the Pepsi group? I thought it was Britvic. I think they distribute it. And this, nah, this is made by Britvic as well. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Tango in another can? But it's Did not. they just blow the lid off a massive it's, soda conspiracy, conspiracy on the first episode? There's no chance. There's no chance that's that Tango. That is so similar, that orange thing. The, um, I'll give you the font. I'll give you that. But there's no chance that is Tango in another can. It's definitely not Tango in another can. Obviously, in the fact the that they were like... The can of a Tango really they were like, make, make one worse. Make a worse one because so like make a worse one. Call it. Um, I mean, maybe that's again maybe a next episode where we do the blind taste test and maybe. stack stack them up against each other. No, this is a high score for me. Mm-hmm. It's mm. it's staple. Like, um, I'm going I'm going straight in my three eight. Three eight for Andy. Three eight. Um, and again, getting close to the fours where it would be a. A heavy recommendation where I would really go out my way to to source and don't get me wrong, I probably have on occasion done that with Club Orange, mm. but I'd maybe I maybe it's not something I would drink relentlessly because uh, it's quite syrupy. Syrupy. Don't know if you could do too many of them, but I do love it. Three eight. You know what? I'm going to match your three. Eight. I'm I'm right there on the three eight. And uh, a shout out to Leo from Calf. She, me, and her have had many conversations about the Club Orange. There is another flavour of Club. For that a, I do a, another episode that I do like maybe maybe a wee bit more than Source that but it. 3 8 for me on the club launch I believe there's more than just that I believe there's more than just one other flavour of club I believe there's a few different ones are we talking about the biscuits or the juice now? no the, the, the club launch are we talking drink? about the golf clubs <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to shoot you a 3.5 3 5 low in the score 3 5 three, I mean that is that it's lower than your scores but uh, this is a hitter definitely I've just realised I've, I've done something crazy. Um, I've continually been setting mine up. In high in order? A, no, in order of how I like them. Oh, okay. I've just done it in order of appearance, just so I can... 3.7? So chronologically. 3.7? Three, 3.7? Seven. Three, seven. I mean, it's so, a hitter. Yeah, that's a solid score. Solid score. De- deserving solid of score. such a high score. Um, four drinks in. We're ramping up. 
I'm about to change the game though. You are you up? Are you in? I'm about to introduce you to one of my favourite soft drinks on the planet. I said soft drink, not soda, but here we go. Let me tell you a story about the Virgil's handcrafted black cherry. There's a place in Glasgow, place in Glasgow Deniston to be exact, to be called the Deniston, called the Deniston BBQ. Do you remember that cell? Remember that cell? Back when you ate meat. <laughs> was that the first time? Yeah, it's the first time we probably yeah. drank this. First time I was aware of Virgil's at all. He had like a little selection of like different drinks. He had like a little selection of like sugar cane coke mm. uh, and a few other things. But this was on there. Vir- Virgil's handcrafted black cherry glass bottle, like a beer bottle. And it's, it's American, though, wasn't it? As American, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like uh, cane sugar handcrafted. Um, that this is this is relatively readily available. You can get this in Tesco. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. so sorry, what so I was it's... meaning to say was that a couple of years ago when we had this, maybe three years ago, it was like it was niche. It was niche. Yeah. yeah, Glasgow, but now you can't actually get this in yeah. most Tesco's. I mean, I've I've had it. I've I've had it. Probably. So lot. we've all had this. Yep. And uh, do you know what though? I've not had it for a while. First, that's our first uh, proper bottle. I've okay. just realised something though. Have you learned something? No, it was twist offs. They were twist offs. So they are. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've absolutely. Never twist off. What letter you got inside yours? Uh, yeah, I've got an L. I'm, I'm holding the D. I've got an S. L S D. But I wonder what that means. I wonder if we need to we need to look into that to see if that so means anything. So many conspiracies kicking yeah. off today. We need to look into that. Right. Well, let's uh, get a wee actual There you go. Oh, this is great. Sweet ching ching. Good. Cheers. Cheers. Salud, baby. Straight away. That for me is, that's the kind of drink I want. With some meats. <laughs> With some meat. With some meats. That's the kind of drink I, I'm not a, to be honest, when it comes to like, Please be sodas honest. and fizzy juice and whatnot, um, I would prefer a sort of one and done, like one good one, maybe two and then done. If I could drink this seven up in the Club Orange probably a bit more, but I'm really looking for like a treat. This is like a little reward, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. It's and a dessert. Then, that is a dessert soda. Yeah, exactly. That's a d- dessert you, soda. Yeah. It's, it's you just had it alongside your meal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cherries are my flavour. Like, if, if there's a cherry Coke or a cherry 7-Up or a cherry... That's that's what I would go <coughs> to. If I had to go with a flavour, cherry's the one. Yeah, man. It's been a while since I've had this. I was going to say the same. I'm remembering it fondly, though. I'm remembering... Yo, you're maybe what? not. I, no, I'm, it's good, and I remember it fondly. <clears throat> Is it maybe not as good as I remember it? I, I'm I'm thinking with Al. I kind of think it's not as good. And it's weird. It's like a cherry. It's a cherry aid. That's not like a cherry coke to me. Nah, and in my in my head, that that used to be a cherry coke, but it's like a cherry lemonade. It was for me. It's this nice. Is like, it's subtle. It's like a cream. It's a very good cream soda that is cherry flavored. See, I'm not. No, I'm. I'll disagree with you on that. Thanks because you out. no, just because it just there's. Cream soda has that aftertaste, that just un, undeniable layer of just sweetness after it, and this this comes and goes for me. Yeah, it's it's actually it's not as flavourful as I remember. I'm I'm weirdly I'm disappointed. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I love a I love a Virgil's black cherry. I love a cherry. I mean, my favourite dessert is black forest gato. So like, I'm maybe biased on this one, mm. but I mean, are you black forest gato types are a bit like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan. I like it, but. It's not as good as I remember. Damn it! No, no, no. Oh um, God! I'm, I'll come. What else in... can go wrong this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come straight to my school. What are you thinking? Three point one. Mm. See, that's still a sh- an alright score. No, it's no good. I'm not down talking. I'm just. It, it's kind of like that's why I was. As soon as you brought it out, I was like, "This could be a four. Yeah. Uh, let me. It's probably about. It's probably about a three. Point two. Oh, I thought we were going to rookie score there. An amateur score. What did that look like? A 3.2. I mean, I knew what I was getting from this. This is... There's nothing nasty about it. There's nothing that's cheap, nasty. It's, it's, it's well put together. I just, do you know what it was? I maybe had a expectation in my head from a previous tasting of it. For it me, just... it is... Maybe it, could, maybe it goes nicer when you're eating something quite... Dank. Salty and yeah. dense. Um, three point nine for me though. Oh, so he's swinging oh. though. Okay, crunch that. Three point nine on that one for me. Oh, I mean, you see, I think he's just trying to make sure that gets into the top three. <laughs> <almost there. laughs> 
Try to, Do we have an independent adjudicator? Try to skew the skulls. Taking you're taking backhanders from uh, Virgil. Three point four. Three point four. I think that's. Uh, is yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I mean, I disagree wholeheartedly, but yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. You're not. I mean, you didn't score like a four point something. So yeah, you know? not a million moves away. Hey, one more to do. One more to do. This is the last one. This is the last one. The last one of today, and it's, it's yours out. What have you brought, Judas? <laughs> Quite simply, it's the. What is that? It's the Fago. Uh, what is that? Unless any Fuego, as in fire. Unless any Fago, as in as not Fago, as in. Oh, wait a minute. Kiwi, Kiwi strawberry. I haven't done my oh, scheme plan. Wait a minute. Kiwi strawberry. Oh, no. I haven't done my scheme plan. The dodgy one. Oh, no. The dodgy one. I, I need to think to myself. I can't think of any point in transit that I'm responsible for that, so that may have came from my supplier. <laughs> See, uh, weirdly, Fago, just, it's, it's, a, it's obviously, it's like kiwi and strawberry, so it's a red and green. But Fago, is that the can. is that the one that the insane clown posse, all the juggalos, is that what they drink? Or is that something else? Am I getting confused here? There's a def- oh, there's definitely know. a drink that they all... Well, that's from Detroit. They're not. The... They're from Portland. Bam. Bam. Doesn't, doesn't make sense they don't drink that. Eminem maybe drinks this. <laughs> they drink this on 8 Mile. Weirdly, it says uh, naturally and artificially flavoured, which I don't <laughs> really know what that means. Natu- I, don't know make I never think that's much of and a claim. Can show them I can? I mean, like, if we're just going com- to com- complain about it here then. Just at us. Oi, oi. See, in the soda game, you come up against obstacles. Yeah, and you must just, just got learn to, to adapt yeah, and overcome. Fight through it. Fight through it. So, anyway, just to break the can down from my perspective, out of Detroit, it says genuine Fago, as if there's some sort of black <laughs> mark for fake Fago. <laughs> and I just went kiwi strawberry because it sounds bonkers. It's not a down the middle flavour. Who I'm, makes this? Uh, I believe it's this. Uh, Insane and, Clown Posse. You know, I don't know if it's distributed by one of the big boys, but I, I don't know. Is this it distributed is. by Fago Beverages? I think it's this place in Detroit. Yeah, honestly, it's... I'm cracking on. I'll see how how I go on here. For me, this could go. Oh, oh, I've got a lot of different ways. Oh my god! I mean, this I knew it's going to be artificial. It smells like. Are you? Sm- the smells bad. Oh. oh. No, no, no. No, it smells. It smells like something. It smells like nerds. It smells like a packet of nerds. Is that the collective noun, Donald? Oh, you meant the sweeties. The sweeties. <laughs> Doesn't it? Nah, this is weird, man. No, it tastes like it's something. Just, it's not you, no, I've realised what it is. It tastes like an ice pole. Mm, yeah, like a, a blue, a, a blue ice, ice pole. pole. <laughs> that is it. That's a blue ice pole right What's there. What's wrong about blue? It's a um, red ice pole. Mm, I'd go with blue. Um, Blue's raspberry. There's no such thing as a red ice pole. Hold on. Do you ever have the Flintstones ice poles when are we? Close one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I had the one with the snowman, the Mr. Mr. Freeze. Aye, Iceland ones. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting direct from Reykjavik. I was expecting a lot, lot less from this. I was expecting this to be so disgustingly artificial that I didn't want to take a second drink. Oh, man, I don't. I, that for me is not the kind of can of juice I would ever buy, ever. And me neither. Lot, I haven't tasted it. I'm glad I've never bought a can like this. It's not, it's not something I'm going to go out and buy again, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going I to be. I think fizzy strawberry yeah. is just a weird vibe. I'm not getting any kiwi for this at all. I, but I think I'm getting a wee bit of a kiwi. Kiwi's just balancing out. But yeah, I'm getting a wee bit of kiwi. I get the feeling that Fago might be the Detroit version of Bars. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's just like... Where did I'm you not get res- this? I can't tell you where I get my shit. <laughs> Straight from Fago. <laughs> That's maybe a rule we didn't say to start. We can't disclose <laughs> where we're getting our shit, man. I get the feeling, I've not researched this, I get the feeling there's so many flavours to this. Mm-hmm. If you've got a kiwi strawberry, you've already covered, you know, you've already got like Sunday roast and like a bunch of other flavours. <laughs> <Sunday roast. laughs> yeah. We've That's done everything else. And then the guys in the market mean he's like, kiwi strawberries, like, go. Yeah. I'm... It's like rolled dal juice. It's like your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's definitely a Willy Wonka. Like, what is it, the snozberries? Oh, it's yeah. not very, yeah. They're, they're so hard to get, though, the snozberries. <laughs> um, what are you scoring? Me? Oh, I'm going to go one more sip just to double check. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't. <laughs> it might be getting worse. <laughs> man. I don't know what, man. I couldn't... See, this is... Is Are we allowed to score below, beneath the, the one line, beneath the bread line? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Zero through five. Yeah, yes. zero through five. Wow. So you finish that can, you are a bust, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's, You're going to hospital if you finish a can of Fago? It's, it's very, very fizzy. 
We'll see. We'll shout out Fagel though for the three hundred and fifty-five man. I know. Like giving you that little bit extra that. You but, I mean, look, I mean, I think the. I think when I got tickled. The, the watermelon sold is a three fifty. Maybe it's a. Maybe we're getting done in, in the UK. Yeah. Rip off then. Eh, uh, for me. Ah. Uh, it's rubbish. Um. <laughs> what, uh, one point one. Oof. A one point one for me. I'm on one point nine. One nine. I brought it to the table, but I'd quite happily just kick it right off the table. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's probably like a, do you know, I, I really don't like it, no. It's probably like a 0.7 for me. I'll, oh. nev- I'll never buy that again. That's harsh. I'll serve it to my enemies, but. You serve it to your enemy. You got many of them? No comment. What I will say, though, a 1.2 on the score. It's higher than I thought it was going to be after that. Um, I'm going to say something controversial though, right? I want to talk to you about hood cocktails. So out of these drinks here, what you th- now obviously excluding the mojito because we've already discussed it, if you had a bit of rum with that, you're jamming. It's just an absolute sitter. I feel like Fago might do alright if it had a bit vod- of alcohol in it. Are we vod- yeah, yeah, yeah. Vod- vod- orange? It, I would, it would cut. That- Let me talk to you about this, right? Could Fago be like the hood daiquiri? Blitz up some ice, pour that in, oh, add in some, what goes in a daiquiri? Rum. rum. Add in some rum. I mean, you could, and some fresh lime juice. I, th- I don't know, I think I you think maybe you need... could tart the Fago up. I feel like the Fago's like, uh, it's an absolute scheme more. But on a Saturday night, she's going down the bowling club. <laughs> she's looking all right, man. <laughs> I, I think you've added so much to that that it's no longer Fago anymore. I think if you're going with a scheme cocktail, you need to add one, one? spirit and that's it that's yeah, all you this get has to, to be add. like the premix this yeah, is yeah. done yeah like nah. like there's no there's a no brainer the 7 up mojito we better rum it's it's winning but I, I think I, we maybe go through them all and maybe like we could uh, maybe we could who cocktail what them we could, what you could add one thing to let's not let's not dwell on it I'll, I'll, you would think I've already coke yeah. vodka and craft coke is, is a hit or a miss yeah. for me yeah. and you watch that the watermelon I would just probably put petrol in it and <laughs> I don't think the Phenomens could maybe be like, uh, a, smoky, like a, a smoky like a, cokey? A cheap whiskey. You know what I mean? Like it could be whiskey uh, coke. Yeah. The watermelon is for the bin. That is for the bin. The mojitos are... Uh, that's, oh, yes. that's rubbish. That that's your rum and you're flying. That's oh yeah, when you go back to the watermelon. When you go back to the watermelon, that's bad. <laughs> that's so bad. Can I change our schools? But I feel like no, I'm so, that's nah, so bad. We went too high at the start. The watermelon is rubbish. Yeah, you, could uh, do, you could do dip some vodka in Club Orange. In a, in a, that in a vodka. Just a vodka orange. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I, your, your black cherry. Ah, that, I wouldn't fuck with that, man. What that whiskey? No. No? No. no. Cherry, what, you've had red stag before. I've had red stag before, but you're just, you're setting yourself. It's really. I need to drink something else to get rid of that <laughs> watermelon. The, the mojito is the, the palate cleanser. That's what I keep going back to, weirdly. And See, I'm, in terms of hood cocktail, the orange, the body orange, the mojito takes care of itself. Maybe a blended whiskey, or even some, maybe something smoky in with the fentanyls. The rest, the but rest, I don't see the fago. They're not invited. The, no, the fago is a young team. Like you're in, you're in a young team. You've got a bottle of the cheapest vodka out of the shop and a two liter bottle of fago up the park. Job is a good one. You're, you're For all done. we know, that's exactly what's <laughs> happening in Detroit. Please don't, please don't do that if you are listening around the region. Unless you're in Detroit and it's cold <laughs> and you're just without a. Obviously, I've got this, what we scored all here. Can you remember what you scored your highest one was? Yeah, Al, I've, I've, you, well, I'm, I'm smart because I put mine in order, so, so I, I have my club orange. Is my I've not done that, was? that, but I believe I, I'd imagine my highest score must be the seven up. Yeah, it was the three point eight. Yep, and uh, Virgil's cherry was the highest for me. Um, but the highest score of all of these was the club orange. Nice. 3.7 average just, score. Just, just doing something simple, consistent, yeah, 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 consistent yeah. scores. Yeah. Sure, the club so does that, just, does that make the club orange top of the leaderboard as of just now? So is that... Is that or let, let us know what's in third place. Third place. Um, overall. Overall this week, third place is what, Virgil's Cherry. Virgil's cherry, so that he's reluctantly putting that on that the takes, leaderboard. That yeah. takes its spot on the bottom, on the third step <laughs> of the podium. 
<laughs> in second place. Uh, it must be. It's got to be the silver medalist. Oh yeah, yeah. got to be the silver medalist. Seven on my heel, right there. Straight in at second place. The modest silver medalist. You know what? Shout out, seven on my heel. Like it was doing a much harder job than club on just. Yeah, it was great. It was it was really good, and it's 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 taken seven up and made it better. Like a lot, lot. You lot think better. that's better than a straight up seven up? Hundred percent. No, no question. Was the last thing had a seven up. I don't fuck with seven know. up really. Right, so can I've I... had one in the last oh, I year. Don't review it before. Review Bef- it. Before we delay, can I give Club, Club Orange its rightful spot at the top of the podium? Yeah. How long? Should we give it a wee? Aye, well, well done. Well done. Our top three. Cheers to Club how, Orange. How long will that top three stay there? Mm. Um, so was it Club Orange at three point seven? Virgil's Black Cherry. Three point six. And then sorry. Um, Club Orange 3.7, oh, 7, seven up. up 3.6, Virgil's 3.4. So I mean and that's Venomous was way off at 2.6. It was way yeah. off. So some some big changes could be happening. So no no absolute next. you know barn burners. No, not at all. Nothing coming out of the nothing coming it's out of the It's worth noting though that not every week is going to be six drinks. It's going to be yeah. four. We're going to have a guest here, um, and it's not all just going to be about tasting the sodas. We can we'll probably get into some chat ah, about definitely guest be some chat. Home to bring on a lot of different kind of people into the mix and maybe even some live shows, some live reactions, and and seeing how that goes. So stay tuned to all the channels for that. I would say that if anyone has actually had, if anyone actually disagrees with anything that we've oh. said on these, feel free to like get in touch in one of the hundred percent. Let us know something in the comments. I mean, it's a dialogue. Let's say, uh... or or even if there's anything that you think, why you need to review this. Yeah, this is I the like one the sound you need of to that, review, yeah. especially. If it's obscure, maybe like really small craft sodas, especially being made in Scotland, would be we definitely want to hear from yep. that. Um, and l- blow our minds, let us let us know about something new yeah. that you think we won't know about. Yeah, and if you think there's anything absolutely shocking that you think I can get these two guys on, please just hit me on the DMs and I'll <laughs> I'll make sure to bring those dodgy drinks in. I've got I've got one in, one in the bank for that, and I can't wait to bring it out. We've been, I mean, yeah. In that sense, the fuego is probably not that bad for some some, <laughs> some more exotic things out there. But we've been quite ruthless, I think, this episode. I mean, I think it's a good I think selection. The boards, um, it's happy the way it panned out, but it's a modest leaderboard. A modest leaderboard. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot a lot of challengers that could come in there, and, and really I mean, we're just up. trying to bring nice selection every week. We're not trying to we're not trying to hit each other up for the top spot. No, I mean, and as you say, I, I'm I just the same. want to work my way through everything. I, I just, that's, that's exactly what I, what I want. Somebody says, "Oh, have you tasted this?" I'm like, "Of course, I've tasted that." I need to be that guy. Yeah. What one are you taking up the road? Like, what you was was what one's going in the car? Is my is my Uber here? You're no, because like, be. there she is. Uh, we oh. weirdly, I, I would definitely, and uh, although I scored it higher, I scored club on higher. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the seven up mojito away because it it surprised me. It wasn't what I was expecting. I like you take a wee bit of strange up the road. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Something to be a bit so exotic. What are you taking? You're taking, uh, you're taking Vodros, Vodros, eh? You're I taking Vodros. Vodros. Like, it's my guy. Me and Vodro go way back. It's, okay, it's your guy? Okay, Vodro's okay. my guy. So is, is that us then? Is that us wrapping up the first episode? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think so. I'm, I think it went well. I'm, I'm buzzing to get into the next one. I just uh, want to keep tasting soft drinks. So yeah, the, the totally. quicker we get back, the better. Is yeah. there any housekeeping in terms of the platforms again? No, just make sure you're following us at Five Star Sodas on everything: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, iTunes, uh, TikTok. The lot we're on all of them. Make sure you give us a follow, yeah. um, and we'll be keeping you up to date when all the episodes are dropping. We'll be dropping content as much as we can, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.